Hey there folks and welcome back. I'm Chris from iLeather.com and it's been a while since I've done a video and today I'm going to do a head shave but I'm going to use a special razor. I'll probably clean up my neck a little bit as well. Um, the above the tie, this is the aluminum uh, SE1. I can't recall what the name of it is. Uh, you can see the red and black there. Looks nice. Feels very nice. Uh, fit and finish quite good. I'm very happy to be using this one. I did uh, buy it. I put in my order for it a long time ago. Um, I'm going to have a little beer too. Stella Artois. Uh, I think it is. Well, I forgot to get a um, opener. Stand by. Let me open this beer. All right, so we're back. Got her open, and here's to you folks, everybody, and razor and brush, shave the man, and all have shaved them. Here's to you. It's ah, good. I don't drink a ton of beer, but I do in the summertime. Um, my preferred drink really is scotch and bourbon, but in the summertime, I find it too hot really to drink a lot of scotch um, and bourbons. I drink it neat and not cold. It's just a little, little hot. I'm using uh, Tob's grapefruit today, which has a fantastic scent in my view. Uh, Razor Rock Big Bruce brush which I like a lot it is an excellent excellent brush and as you can see I've got a little growth I go in here I haven't shaved my face or at least the cheeks of my face since um, I should last time I shaved was Friday so Friday to Saturday third three days three days growth going there I'm gonna let it grow in a little bit I'll shave here and up here and you know let the beard grow for a while and see how that develops um, just for the heck of it because I'm not making a lot of videos um, I've still been shaving my head every single day, uh, however, and I will shave it today. But let's let's just go ahead and start on the neck and and get that cleaned up. I hope everybody has been doing well. Um, I've been doing well, spending a lot of time outside, which is what I do in the summertime. Um, I do get your emails, however, I generally don't respond when I'm on sabbatical because I just you know spend more time for myself. And let me tell you. Um, if you watch what goes on in social media, not only in the shave groups, but generally with all the political stuff, um, you know, you need a break sometimes. And that's a big reason why I take a sabbatical in the summertime from both shaving. And I, you know, I look at Facebook a little bit, but not a ton. It just gets very tiring to see the, the, the people who never give things a rest. And we ought to be able to discuss things you know, political stuff without being at each other's throats, but it's just, it's so over the top now and with the shootings of those um, members of Congress the other day. It's just a terrible time and people need to tone down and just relax a little bit. I realize a lot of folks don't like Trump. I did not vote for him. I did not find him to be a suitable, suitable candidate. I didn't vote for Hillary either. I voted, but for neither of those two. I did not find either one of them to be suitable for me. But, President Trump is the President of the United States. And, you know, we should hope that he's successful regardless of which side of the aisle we're on. And I do. And just as I hoped President Obama was successful. I didn't like a lot of the things he did. And I don't like a lot of the things that Trump is doing right now. However, he's the President. Um, truth be told, folks, other than health care, where they passed that health care and a lot of people lost their health insurance and some people had the rates increase and some people got it who didn't have for the most part in these presidential elections not much changes in your life unless you know you're on government benefits or something like that um, so I don't find it I think at least in my experience um, changes in local government seems to have a lot more effect than you know the president um, so, you know, don't get too spun up over it, people. Relax. I think we've got the neck cleaned up. Let's go for the head. And again, normally, um, let me wet the head first just to get some slickness uh, standby. All right. Anyway, you know, folks just need to relax and calm down. It's not the end of the world, you know. Not that much is going to change. Uh, unless you're on some sort of government assistance or government insurance. I mean, it could change some, but by and large, things will remain 
pretty much the same. They'll do a little of this. No legislation virtually has been passed. So, you know, um, the only thing that has been done has been done via executive order, and I personally do not like that. I feel like legislative or executive order, I should say, executive order should be for the president to administer government and not to pass, you know, not to put forth national policy. That should go through Congress, but, you know, it is what it is. And we'll start over here today and see how we do. And that feels pretty good. On the areas that are relatively flat, these uh, Artist Club razors do pretty well. I found that on, like, t where it's curvy, you know, not much of the blade is in contact with your head, so I don't find that you have a much of an advantage on your head for a head shaver, but that feels pretty good so far. And it felt good on the neck. See right there? See how little of the razor is touching my head? That's why I say these razors are just a little bit too wide to make great head shavers, because you're only using part of the blade for a lot of your head. So, that said, it feels pretty good so far, so. We'll see how it goes. I found that the Schick um, Extreme 3 works the best for my head. Um, and I tell you what, it does a good job on the face too. In my last video, I'd used a cart for a couple of weeks. Uh, straight, fantastic job. No irritation, no problems whatsoever. So for me, you know, I found when using a traditional method, um, DE razors or SE razors or carts work just fine. Carts are just too expensive. That's really the problem. Um, I'm not going to feed you all a bunch of baloney. If I find that I learned something, I'm going to pass it on to you. And one of the things I've learned is it's been overblown, the, you know, carts, with the carts or craft thing. The fact of the matter is, for me, and as you can see, I do accumulate growth, so it's not like I have nothing to shave. Um, carts work just fine, but I, I use three passes in a traditional method. Like I said in the last video, if you use them the old way, where you're trying to stretch the blade and do it all in one pass, no, they don't work very well. But I found that using them like, like you use a DE or SE razor, when you use them in that same fashion, multiple passes, progressive reduction, they actually work pretty well. All right, let's take another sniff of our Stella. And we'll rinse it down and come right back to the station. A lot of folks did not like that last video where I talked about, you know, head slick being very, very good in some of these modern products. But folks, like I said, I'm not here to be a shill for the traditional... Um, traditional gear, let's say. I'm not here just to sell old-fashioned products. I love them, don't get me wrong. But some of this modern stuff works well, too. And it just so happened that I'm sort of late to the game in trying it in a traditional method. I've been using the traditional stuff for a number of years now. Just never tried the more modern stuff, like the Head Slick and Cremo and all that. Now, I prefer Head Slick to Cremo quite a bit. It works much better, I think. It lathers very well if you use a brush. But, again, uh, as much as I love traditional gear, um, I'm not here to lie to you or share something that is other than my experience. And the truth is, my experience has been rather good, even with carts and things like Head Slick and Cremo and things like that, too. So, you know, I do find the... The uh, handmade soaps to be a better quality and they give you a better post and things like that. But um, the head slick works really, really well. So I've been really happy with that. Again, as I'm using this razor on my head, the only thing I would say is, you know, there are spots where it, it just doesn't connect very much because of the curves of your head. But boy, it's doing a fine job. I really like this. I had got, gotten rid of my uh, stainless steel SE1. In because uh, I got a stainless steel hawk, and I thought, you know, since I had this one coming, I wanted to try it, and I prefer this one. I really like the way it's shaving. The SE1 in stainless 
very, very heavy. This one, of course, considerably lighter, and it's really doing a great job, and I made the right choice because I'm really enjoying it. And it looks great, too. The handle is a little, you know, a little long for some people, but since it's aluminum, it doesn't weigh a ton. And so um, it's actually quite nice. And this cream, the Tobbs today, has done a doggone good job. So let's uh, ah, take a little bit of our Stella. We will uh, rinse and come back and do a third pass. Stay tuned. So one of the things I like to do when I'm on these sabbaticals is just try different things to learn. You know, when I'm when I'm doing a lot of videos during the winter months and colder months, um, <clears throat> you know, I'm going through a lot of products and buying a lot of stuff and trying new stuff every single day. When I'm in these off periods, I'll use a brush like a week in a row or a razor and really learn more about what I'm using. And I did that with carts and I used them for two weeks or more, maybe three weeks straight. And I got fantastic shaves out of it. I used the Harry's razor here. I think I got nine or 10 shaves out of that. Very good shaves. And I used the Schick Extreme 3. Um, I got really good shaves out of both using things like Head Slick and I used different soaps, newer and older. And I had really um, outstanding results and what it told me is you know to me there's more to the method um, as long as you have a good sharp blade I think you're gonna do pretty well um, now you may have a super thick beard that's hard to get a multi-blade type cart through it that makes sense to me uh, but for my face you know they've worked pretty well just trying to get some touch up going here. And I'll probably have to use the Schick Extreme 3 to touch up. There's some very difficult spots to get on the back of my head that it's almost impossible to get with a DE because it requires a little bit of pressure. You have to press down and dig in a little bit. And if I do it with the DE, it, uh, it will cut me. And I've learned that from <laughs> experience. Um, but when I use this baby here, the Schick Extreme 3, which bends here in the middle, it actually works quite nice and that bend is actually helpful it lets me kind of get in those areas without cutting myself so that's what experience has uh, taught me and I've shaved my head every day since whenever the first day was and you saw me you know go bald <laughs> um, I can't remember that whether it was March or April um, it's been some months back now and uh, there's no going back. I enjoy it very much. I don't miss my hair at all. I don't care if it looks stupid or if you think it looks stupid. <laughs> I just don't care. What I care about is what I like and I absolutely enjoy it. Since I'm growing a beard now, it gives me plenty of shaving real estate still to work with. So um, it's a lot of fun. Okay, let's uh, see how we did. And then we'll do some touching up with our chic. Extreme 3. This video might be a little bit long, but that's okay. I haven't done one for a In here, it's tough to get, and it's a spot right back there. So, let's pull a little lather. Let's just lather up a little bit back there. And uh, we'll try to get that area with this guy, which really... See, I can, I'm can. i actually digging in a little bit there. And you can hear it. Um, it works very well. In getting those areas that are tough let's feel that yep much better much better if I dig in with that razor I'll most likely cut myself and that's what I've learned because believe me I've tried it <laughs> so trial and error um, me still being relatively new to head shaving but I've learned where my difficult spots are and what I need to do to get those spots another thing I like to do when touching up is just grab some of the lather out of the brush and just feel around. You can do that on your face too, and it's an excellent technique that works uh, very, very well. Let's see. We're getting pretty smooth here. Just a few touch ups here and there. Um, but no going back. I can assure you of that. I have really um, enjoyed both head shaving and having a shaved head. It's just a lot less trouble. You get up in the morning, you're, you know, you take a shower, you're ready to go. You don't have to worry about 
combing your hair or if you want to roll down the windows in your vehicle, you don't have to worry about your hair blowing all over the place and it being out of place for a meeting at work or something. You are just ready to go. And uh, for me, there's nothing like efficiency. And it does certainly, aid. now certainly you have to shave it in the morning, so you don't have to take the time for that. Because I shave it every single day because I don't like any stubble at all on it. Again, the object for me shaving the head was not to have hair there. <laughs> so I continue to shave it because uh, I really enjoy uh, not having the hair there. And, you know, shave down on the neck there to make sure you get everything. You don't want to have a hairy neckline, you know, have a beautiful shaved dome and got neck uh, hair all over your neck. You don't want that. So let's see what we got here. Now we're smooth. This, well, one place here. You have to go in sort of different directions on my head because it kind of grows in some weird angles and spots. And it's not always uh, intuitive. Let's see. Let's get around the ear. This is the place where you have to be most careful when shaving your head, I found, around your ears. It's not hard to get careless and nick your ears, so please, if you're a head shaver, be careful. Okay, now we are good to go, and maybe we'll get uh, the top area here in my cheek here in a moment. Let me uh, rinse off. We'll come right back. Stay tuned. All right, so we've got a beautiful head shave. Let's have a little Stella. Good stuff. Um, throw a little Thayer's on the dome before we just hit the top of the cheeks here to even that out a little bit. Of course, this is Thayer's magic that is made by witches. And that has not changed. And let's see what we have up here. I need to get a little closer to my mirror so I can see what's doing here. Just a little bit of the... It's really hard to see, to tell you the truth, where that line begins. I don't know if this razor is the best razor for that. Let's, uh, let's go with this guy. Just get the cheek, just that line where the beard is a little bit. Those hairs that grow a little further up is what I'm trying to accomplish anyway. There we go. And that should be enough because it doesn't really require a ton of work. Those are just a few stragglers in that part of my face. Sorry about the mirror being in the way there. Let's rinse that off. We'll come back and hit that with Thayer's and we'll close this baby out. Stay tuned. All right, another little bit of Stella. Good stuff. And of course, we'll use a little Thayer's here on the cheeks and face. And down here. And we are good to go. Um, I really like the Above the Tie Aluminum Single Edge Razor. Really, really nice. Even on the head, I enjoyed it a lot. So check it out if you are interested. Uh, we use the Razor Rock Big Bruce, which is fantastic. Also the um, Tobbs Grapefruit, which has a wonderful scent. I'm not going to put on aftershave now because i got to take a shower. But I want to thank everybody for joining me again. I'm not responding to email right now, so please keep that in mind. Um, it's my off time. Just thought I'd shoot a video today to let you guys know what's going on. Wish you well and tell you relax, people, especially on social media. Please relax. Um, be your brother's keeper. Be a decent person. You know, folks, it's it's getting out of hand. It's leading people to get absolutely crazy. Just relax. All right, life is good. If you if you're if you have the uh, benefit of drawing breath today, it is a wonderful day. Please cherish that. You know, grab yourself a nice beer and just enjoy your life, folks. Until next time. Let's help make the entire world shape great once again.